super creatine. I know, study. dude. I need, I need to start like learning how to read. Ooh, man, what'd you do, Malik? Bait in the dumpster this morning? <laughs> uh, this guy wears the same thing every day. I don't think his mommy left him any money when she died. Oh. No. You dare talk about my mother, Mason? Oh, someone's got mommy issues. Ah! Yeah, chill, bro, chill. Oh, Malik, to the principal's office now. Now. Julian really turned things around. He's excelling in all his classes and getting along with all his peers. I couldn't be more proud of the kid. Wow. I mean, that is just fantastic, Mr. Wang. How did you get through to him? I helped him realize what I was saying. It's never too late to choose a new path. Very wise. <laughs> <laughs> right this way. I simply do not understand your behavior, Malik. You used to be a straight-A student, an exceptional artist. Now you're getting into fights and failing all of your classes. I've been lenient with you, given your previous academic record and what you've been through. But I have plenty of reasons to expel you, and I don't want to do this. Then expel them. Don't be wasting my time with this. Pardon me? I thought you would care about your younger brother's future. He was on the right track. Hey, look, to I ain't finished high school, and it ain't make no difference to me. Malik, do you even want to graduate high school? Well, then, if that's the case, then I have no choice. Excuse me, Principal Anders. May I have a word with you? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Please, only take a second. Stay put. Let me take this kid on. I got room for one more. Julian's back to his regular classes. He doesn't even want to be here. It's pointless. Please. You've seen what I've done in the past. Just give me a shot. You need to work on your aim, Jason. But not in my class. Anyone see Malik? Nice of you to join us. Make sure you come to my class on time. We're gonna start off class with a worksheet. No. Hey, it's not like I'm giving a quiz. Everyone partner up. We'll review it together in 15 minutes. Looks like I'm stuck with you.
You need to partner up with someone in the class. I work alone. Hey, fool, check this out. I got your design tatted, homie. Hey, Malik, we gonna draw mine, man. I've actually been working on a new piece. <laughs> hey, what the heck? This one's better than mine. It sure is. No, man. <laughs> That's dope, man. You can't. I'm saying it's dope. <laughs> I'm about to roll out. I need you to tag along on this one. I have homework, so. Not this again. I already told you, school ain't gonna get you nowhere. Yeah, bud. But, uh, but, uh, what? Get your head in the game, Malik. This is how we pay the bills, and ain't nobody paying them for us. So either you coming, or you coming. Malik. 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 You okay? You okay? You just having a nightmare, okay? We're in class. You're safe. Come with me. What is all this? Clearly you need rest. It's not going to do you any good to keep falling asleep in class. I bought you a change of clothes and a copy of class notes since you'll be missing lessons today. Well, why are you doing all this? Look, I don't know what you're going through, but you got a lot of potential. You're a bright kid, Malik. You had straight A's, Glowing reviews from teachers. You don't have to tell me anything. I want you to know that you have support. Maybe some things have happened to knock you off track, but it's never too late to choose a new path. I'll help you. Look, you don't know anything about me, so don't sit here and pretend like you do, all right? I know you're a great artist. I'll let you rest. Please come to class well rested tomorrow. If you can. Yeah, perhaps he's shutting down because he's depressed. I have a student like that right now in my class. Why don't you have him talk to the counselor? Maybe suggest therapy? I doubt his brother would allow him to have therapy. His patterns aren't of someone who's depressed. Mm. Then what do you think is going on? My best guess, it seems like Maddox's experiencing fear. <laughs> fear? Others are afraid of him. What could he possibly be fearful of? I'm not sure. He won't open up to me. Then what are you gonna do? I'm gonna use my grandma's technique that she taught me when I was young and having nightmares. Oh. 
Okay, class. Today we're going to be doing something new. Fun. Be more excited, because today we're going to be leaving the classroom. <laughs> you each have a blank sheet of paper on your desk. I'm going to give you 15 minutes to write down all your fears, and then we're going to fold up the paper into a paper airplanes. Hold up, you want us to write down our fears? Heck no! I'm just going to use them against us. You don't even have to write your names on the letters. This is for your eyes and your eyes only. Consider it a free A in creative writing. Is that or we can stay in the classroom? No, 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 it's cool. We're very happy to do this fun paper airplane assignment. Why aren't you writing, Malik? I don't have a pen. Whoa, this is cool. Never been to the school's roof before. Please be careful. I got special permission for y'all to be up here. What now? We all have our own fears that haunt us. So what we're gonna do today is throw our fears away. So, what, is this like symbolic or something? <laughs> symbolic, therapeutic, whatever you like to call it. So now, I want you all to carefully step towards the edge and throw your airplanes as far as you can and watch your fears fly away from you. Malik? Take a seat, Malik. Everything okay? Lil Nicky and his crew did Terrence dirty. So tomorrow we can go get him back. All right, I appreciate the offer, but I think I'm gonna pass. Good luck, Donna. Good luck? Nah, you riding with us. We need a fourth. I don't wanna do this anymore, Andres. Look, I, I want to focus on school. School? What did I tell you about school? Look, I know. But Mr. Wang believes in me, okay? And I want to give what he's saying a shot. Now, look, man, I'm sorry, man. Hey, Andreas. He's up, man. It's cool. Yeah, man, little homie wants to go to school. Let him go, dog. He's too young anyway. No. And let me remind you, this is your only future. And I'm the one handing it to you. What about if I don't want this to be my future? You don't have a choice. After school tomorrow, you riding with us, whether you like it or not. I don't understand. Like, what am I going to get good at? Yes. Never, bro. That's facts. Oops. Didn't see you there. Yo. Oh, my bad. I didn't see you there. What, so you think you're a tough guy now or something? You know what I think? I think you're all talk. Oh, whatever, man. Nah, that's right. Walk away. Just like your mom did. <laughs> oh. Sick of man, yo. Manic! What are you doing? Look, leave me alone! I don't need you always trying to help me.
So, Mr. Wang said we're supposed to write down our fears. No idea why. I'm not really sure where to start, but here goes nothing, I guess. I never knew my dad. It was just me, my mom, and my older brother, Andres. Life wasn't easy, and I remember watching my mom struggle to support us growing up. I guess the pressure got to her because she ended up drinking a lot and taking drugs to cope. Slowly the stress and her addiction ate away at her. I remember looking at her and not seeing my mom. She became a stranger to me. And then one day she just never showed up to pick my brother and I up from school. I got home, we found a note. She said that she was leaving and it was up to us to figure it all out on our own. I couldn't believe it. I, I cried so hard. But my brother, he handled it a lot differently than I did. He ended up joining a gang getting tattoos. Selling drugs. And then eventually trying to make me join him. So you see, I never wanted to get involved, but I don't have a choice because he's my older brother and my legal guardian. I had goals and dreams, but now I feel like my only path is prison or worse. Man. Where's he at? Hey, chill out, man. We got this. Dude, just us three. Hey, man. We gotta get going if we're gonna do this. Let's go. What are you doing there? I read your letter. I won't tell anybody, I promise. Like I'm supposed to believe a word you say after you literally just showed me that you're a liar? That's fine. You can be mad at me, Malik. But I want you to know that there's a way out. You have a bright future ahead of you, and people care about Look, you. Look, man, just stop talking hey, to me, man. Hey, you don't understand what I'm going through, man. I understand more than you know. I lost both my parents when I was young, and it ended up being just my sister Kelly and me. She fell in the wrong crowd and started seeing this guy in a gang. Kelly was always hanging around them, staying out late. But one night, she didn't come home. I had to read what happened to her in the newspaper. I not only lost my parents, I lost my sister too. I ended up all alone. So you see, Malik, she's the big reason why I started teaching to help kids avoid the same mistake. I don't want the same thing to happen to you. I don't want you to throw away your future. Yeah, well, it's too late. My future's over, man. No, it's not, Malik. Like I said to you before, it's never too late to choose a new path. It is for me. Malik, please. Look, Andres, I'm, 
I'm sorry, man. I, I wasn't trying to avoid you or anything, man. I I just really didn't want to do it, bro. You made the right decision. Can you give me and my bro a minute? It was an ambush. We started shooting. RJ got hit. And Terrence. Sorry. After today, I don't want this type of life for me. I don't want this type of life for you. Your teacher's right. You got potential. And you don't need to throw it away like I did. I don't have a mentor to steer me in the right, di the right direction. Or you do. And you should focus on school, bro. I won't pressure you into doing anything anymore. I mean, like, like, what's your plan? <laughs> My plan? I ain't got no future. I fell out of high school. Got all these tattoos. Ain't nobody gonna give me a job. Yeah, you can. Because someone recently told me It's never too late to start a new path. <laughs> Can anyone tell me the answer? It's 12. Sorry I'm late. I, uh... Had a meeting with a college counselor. No problem at all. I think they'll be happy to know that you're getting an A in this class. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Wayne. Oh, and, and thank you so much for helping my brother get a job, too. I got you something. I painted it from memory based off of the photo you showed me. Hope you like it. Thank you, Malik. Thank you. Of course. Ow! Oh! Oops. My bad. Forgot to put a wet floor sign up. Oh. 